my dear friends today in this video i am going to show you how to make a temperature and a humidity sensor so let's get started before starting you have please click on subscribe and press the notification button so you won't miss a video so let's get started let me show you the things you need the main thing you need is the arduino itself i am using arduino uno next I am using the LED screen and I am also using I square C because it will make the project much easier. Next is the sensor itself DST11 and you will need a breadboard and also some jumper cables. So let's get started. First we can connect the a sensor to the Arduino you can see the back of the sensor there are three pins negative out and positive so I am taking the black jumper cable and connect it to the negative of the Arduino and next step I am taking the red jumper wire and connect it to the positive of the Arduino and the last cable that is the out pin I am connecting the white jumper cable to the out of the Arduino now let's connect the sensor to the Arduino so at first you have to take the white jumper cable and connect it to the digital pin 2 D2 I am connecting it to the digital pin 2 okay the next step is I am connecting the red to the positive 5 volt and next I am connecting the black to the GND ground so the first step is finished now let's check is our will the sensor works or not and first I am downloading the Arduino software if you have already downloaded you have skipped these steps if you don't have just go and download i will show you how to do that first type arduino ide then click on the windows zip file for node admin install and just click on just download and after a few minutes it will be downloaded after downloading open that there is one thing you have to consider because you have to install the DST library for that I will show you what to do go to tools and then go to manage libraries a window will open and in there will be downloading and updating some of the files after downloading just type the DST 11 and press enter so it will show some of the library I am using the library named as symbol DST mine it is actually I have installed it early so if you don't didn't have installed then click on install after installing it will take a few seconds and then go to files then examples then a lower part there will be showing symbol DST I am using DST 11 default and you have to you see the code and you have to change the ball tray to 9600 and click on verify after verifying verifying will take a few seconds and after verifying click on the upload button yeah it's done uploading next click on upload few seconds it will be uploaded to our Arduino and let's see if our sensor actually works for that you have to go to the tools in tools there is a serial monitor just click on it and let's see if this thing works yeah temperature 32 degrees Celsius humidity 73 so let's try to blow some air into the sensor using our mouth let's see if the humidity changes yeah it changes to 95 that's the reason is because the exiled air will be rich in moisture that's why the humidity changes let me put the sensor aside for a few seconds let's see if it drops yeah it's dropping it's dropping to 78 75 97 yes so the sensor works next we can set up our 
LCD display so okay if you going let's get start you see this is the LCD screen I am using and you can see there are actually 16 pins in this LCD 16 pins so 16 pins soldering into the Arduino is a very difficult process so I am using is a I square C with this you can reduce the pin to just 4 that is a GND VCC SDA SGL just 4 pins so it will make our project much easier so let's get started first I am taking the red jumper cable and connecting it to the VCC of the I square C module next I am using the black jumper cable to connect it to the GND ground of the I square C module and next I am using the orange to connect it to the SDL of the I square C module and or gray wire to the last one so let's connect this thing to the Arduino well, let me take the Arduino first yeah here it is so I am connecting the black wire to the GND of the Arduino and the red one to the positive 5 volt and the orange one to the analog pin A4 and I am connecting the orange wire to the analog pin A4 before that we have to download a library I am downloading a library called as I square C library and the link to the library is in the description right, right below and just open this link that is uh, the link is in, down below so just have to click the link and after that you have to click on clone or download and then download the zip file because you have to download this before doing that okay then only it will work without a library the i square c won't work so go to tools manage uh, sorry sorry not manage library you have to include library then click on add zip library then from there you have to go to downloads so in downloads you there will be the thing that you have download earlier that is add liquid crystal display i square c library master just open it yeah after that was an examples added a little crystal i square c library i am using the hello world code so let's see if the sensor works or not so after compiling just click on upload yeah it is compiling it will take a few seconds before you can click on upload yeah done compiling next click on upload so the code will be uploaded to the Arduino but we have in connected the last two pins of the Arduino so let's go and connect it to the Arduino so let's get started next the orange as well as the gray pin are remaining the orange is the SDA SDA is connected to the pin A4 analog 4 
and the last grayish color pin it is connected to the A5 that is SCL pin it is connected to the A5 now let's upload the program to the Arduino let's see if this thing works so the LCD display it actually works please note that if this thing doesn't work there is a potential meter back of the I square C module just turn it using a screwdriver or something so it will work don't worry next we can connect the sensor to the LCD display and for that you will need an extra thing that is the breadboard because the Arduino only has a single 5 volt pin but you need 2 5 volt so let's get started Con I am connecting the black wire to the negative of the sensor and to the GND or GND pin of the Arduino and next I am connecting the white wire that is out to the digital pin 2 of the Arduino the same as you have done before and next I am connecting the red wire to the positive 5 volt but there is a small problem there is only one positive 5 volt but you will need 5 volt for both the LCD as well as the sensor for that I am going to connect the 5 volt to a breadboard so I am connecting the 5 VCC of the sensor to the breadboard and connecting 5 volt from the Arduino to the breadboard so I can power both the sensor as well as the LED sorry I mean LCD next let's go to the LC, LCD part and first I am connecting the black wire that is ground wire to the LCD to the Arduino next I am connecting the red wire from the LCD to the breadboard so I can power everything in spite of just a one 5 volt pin on the Arduino the next step is orange wire orange wire I am connecting to the SDA of the I square C module to the A4 pin of the Arduino and next last one the grayish color wire on the SCL of the I square C module to the A5 of the Arduino now let's upload the program so let's get started don't worry the program is in the description down below so you can just copy and paste it after opening click on compile after compiling you just install don't worry about the program because program is already in the description down below so just copy and paste it on your Arduino IDE and after compiling is complete just click on upload so the code will be uploaded so let's see how our program works yes it is done uploading so let's see this sensor see the temperature is 32 degrees and humidity is 74 so this is a simple project so let me blow it and see the humidity changes or not yes humidity changes yeah 95 because as i told you earlier the humid the expired air contains lot of humidity that's why it changes please click on subscribe and don't forget to press the notification if you like this video click on thumbs up thank you for watching this video